Hi there, my name is Missy. I'm here to talk about the relationship between livability and transportation. This is me. I live in Portland, Oregon. This is my house. This is where I work. This is how I get to work. But like anyone else, that's not everything. Those are two major parts of my life, but my life doesn't just revolve around two things, and it doesn't just happen in those two buildings. It also happens at the houses of my friends and family, my favorite parks, where I go shopping, where I play soccer, where my gym is, where I like to go out to eat, and more. All of these make up the different pieces of my life. With such a scattered array of different places, it's transportation that connects all of these areas and brings the pieces of my life together. Even beyond that, transportation gives me the freedom and opportunity to explore and experience everything my city has to offer. Like this. And 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 more. And that's just me. In a city with a population of 2.35 million, there are hundreds of thousands of other stories like mine. In the whole country, there are millions. As different as they may be, they all have a shared thread that runs through them. Transportation allows each one of us to widen our horizons and connect with the greater community. Transportation can seem unremarkable and uninteresting because it is part of our daily routine. But its key place in our daily routine is what gives transportation its significance. Because this routine is such a large part of our lives, it's important that we make safe, healthy, and sustainable choices so that our movement has a positive impact on both ourselves and our world. Here in Portland, 45% of rush hour commuters going downtown use public transit, and Portland residents take over 315,000 trips on public transit every weekday. By allowing people to take advantage of resources and opportunities around them, and to sustainably navigate their daily life with practicality, ease, and a sense of safety and comfort, transportation is extremely valuable and directly connected to livability. As a sum of factors that add up to a community's quality of life, including built and natural environment, economic prosperity, social stability and equity, educational opportunity and cultural entertainment and recreation possibilities, livability is dependent on transportation because it is transportation that gives people access to all these different possibilities. Today it's easier and easier to access things from our homes. With the internet, television, computers, phones, and more, virtually anything is at our fingertips and improving technology continues to make this even more the case. But even with all of these changes, I'm optimistic that our daily movements will continue on. Because as easy as it might be to see things without leaving our houses in pictures and videos found online, there's still something undeniably special about experiencing the world firsthand. To see it with your own eyes and to explore the world as part of a greater community. To connect with the people and places around you. Sometimes it's the smallest and seemingly least interesting things experienced alone, and other times it's a moment shared with thousands of other people that will make you say, you just had to be there. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's transportation that allows us to take advantage of these possibilities and experience the world. And at the end of the day, it's transportation that takes us home.